how the first chapter of our world is going to look like. In India, we've grown up the epics, especially Mahabharata and Ramayana. Another age to go, and that age is the final battle. In India, we've grown up with so much of the epics, especially Mahabharata and Ramayana, being part of our culture and everyday life. Like, especially uh, not just religious, but just like even just stories that we tell our kids. And so, you know, when you grow up and you're watching uh, a lot of, I guess, foreign films, which are in the either comic book space or Marvel or Spider-Man or, or Star Wars or any of those things. You always wonder like where are our superheroes because they are as heroic and they are as uh, larger than life as anybody else. I think I heard uh, that slowly people across India were more interested or they were starting to think about making movies like this. I heard some talk about somebody talking about Immortals and some studio trying to think about it and I was like, okay, now it's time for us to. And the world of Kalki is something that we are saying is almost like a sequel to the last epic that we have of these characters of the previous Yuga. So the previous Yuga in India, the in Indian culture, we have four Yugas, right? So each Yuga has a sort of a dramatic battle and a great good versus evil sort of a setup and and each time an avatar comes uh, to restore the balance and uh, the last great epic that we have is the Mahabharata where it was like a huge war with uh, you know the most powerful and the most uh, epic kings and they fight in this dramatic battle and they are you know one side is protected by an avatar a god figure which is Krishna final epic was the last story that we know and all of our greatest characters from there have an ending or some of them have an open ending or we know that this is where this story ended but we still have an, another age to go and that age is the final battle. That age is where the end essentially has to begin and everything has to come to a climax like all of these stories, all of these nine avatars, all of these four yugas, all of these battles which are small and big that happened since the creation of time has to end somewhere. So we tried to <laughs> see if we could attempt to write that and uh, that's how we started. And that's where the last story of our mythology sort of ends. And now we are meant to be in the last age which is called the Kali Yuga and we need, we don't really have a story of this era or of this Yuga because it's still happening obviously. And I just thought it is a very interesting idea if we, if we start writing a sequel to the Mahabharata, what would happen because it ended there and Kali continues from Dwapar Yuga and he has to come into the Kali Yuga. So now if he comes in, now our heroes have to come in as well. And how is this epic going to be? Uh, how are we going to write this? And I wanted to write it in a way that it's today and it's for the whole world to be part of it now because it's not just uh, because it was never I think ever just one country it's always the world so I thought we'll write it in that sensibility and hence uh, five years later we are here and we are close to uh, being able to share with you how the first part how the first chapter of our world is going to look like.